Hey guys, Stephen Cox here, and today we're going to learn how to play some disco on the U-Bass using octaves. So if you like videos like these, please hit subscribe below, consider becoming a patron for the tabs and the sheet music, and let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first we need to know what an octave is. So here's an example of an octave. So basically I played a note on the A string or the E string, and then I went up two frets, one, two, and down to the thinner strings, one, two, strings over. So two frets up and two strings down toward the floor, or to the thinner strings, which is technically up in pitch. So I started on the third fret on the A string, I added two frets, and moved it down two strings to the G string. So third fret on the A string, and fifth fret on the G string is an octave. And basically what an octave means is both of those notes are C's. One is just a lower pitch C, and then the next one is the next C up. So a scale would start on this C, and could end on this C. So now that we've got that pattern and how to find the octaves, I'm basically just going to tell you what the pointer finger does, and at first I'll tell you what the other octave note is, but then I'm going to let you figure it out for the last few. So we're going to start on the third fret on the A string, and the passage is going to sound like this. So what we're doing there is the third fret on the A string, then we're going up an octave to the fifth fret on the G string. Then we're going to go to the 3rd fret on the E string, and then we're going to go up an octave, which is the 5th fret on the D string. Then we're going to go to the 4th fret on the E string, and then we're going to go up an octave, and you'll end up on the 6th fret on the D string. Then you're going to go to the 1st fret on the A string, and you're going to play an octave up from there. If you guessed that that's the 3rd fret on the G string, you are right. We just added two frets and went down two strings. So let's play that together. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to play this. So this is going to be the third fret on the A string, and then we're going to go up an octave. Now we're going to go to the 6th fret on the A string. Then we're going to go up the octave to the 8th fret on the G string. Then we're going to go to the 5th fret on the A string. Then up the octave. Then we're going to do the 4th fret on the A string. And then we're going to go up the octave. So let's play that together. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now the next part sounds like this. So here we're going to play the 3rd fret on the A string. Then we're going to go up the octave, but this time we're going to pluck with our pointer finger when we go up the octave, so that we have our middle finger ready to go to hit that note again. So we've got 3 on the A string once, then 5 on the G string twice. Then we've got 3 on the A string once, and 5 on the G string once. And then when we do that little pattern four times. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's do that together. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to go back to the beginning of the pattern and repeat that whole thing. So let's just play it all the way through one time now and pretend that this is the repeat. One, two, three, four. Alright, 
and now we're on to the next part that sounds like this. So that's going to be the 6th fret on the A string. Then we're going to go up the octave to the 8th fret on the G string, and we're going to play this note twice. Then we're going to go to the 5th fret on the A string, go up the octave to the 7th fret on the G string, and we're going to play that one twice. Then we're going to go to the 4th fret on the A string, just once. Then we're going to go to the 6th fret on the G string two times. And then we're going to play the 3rd fret on the A string once and the 5th fret on the G string two times. And then we're going to do that whole pattern twice. 6, 8, 8, 5, 7, 7, 4, 6, 6, 3, 5, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So after this, we're going to go back to the 6th fret on the A string, but this time we're going to play this one twice, then the 8th fret on the G string twice, then the 5th fret on the A string twice, then we're going to play the 7th fret on the G string twice, then the 4th fret on the A string twice, and then the 6th fret on the G string twice, and then the 3rd fret on the A string twice, and the 5th fret on the G string twice. And if you notice, with each one of those octave patterns, I'm going index middle on the low note and index middle on the high note with my plucking hand. And then the last measure is just going to sound like this. And that's going to be the first fret on the A string, going octave up to the third fret on the G string, then the second fret on the A string, an octave up to the fourth fret on the G string, and then we're going to end on the third fret on the A string. So let's just do from measure 7 to measure 8. So that's going to sound like... All right, let's play it together. One, two, three, four. And one more time, a little bit slower. Two, three, four. All right, guys, now it's time to use the tab player play along to play this all the way through. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to play some disco on the U-Bass using octaves and doing some string skips. If you enjoy videos like these, please subscribe below. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And consider becoming a patron for the printable tabs for this and for many other lessons. I'll see you guys next Tuesday.